Hi, in this video, we're going to go over how to do a free criminal background check in Texas. To get started, visit texaspublicrecords.org. I'll have a link in the description you can click on, or you can just type this into your browser. Uh, once you get to the home page, you will notice there's quite a few public uh, record databases available in the state of Texas. Some of these might be useful, but we're going to focus on criminal information and particularly free databases that you can use to locate this information. Uh, so to get started, uh, hover over other records and select inmate search. And uh, so what you'll see is you'll see uh, the most populous counties here. And what the uh, the way a, a criminal record typically gets initiated is somebody gets arrested by the police or the sheriff's department. Uh, they get charged with a crime and they, they get brought into like a local jail. And uh, they go through the booking process, fingerprints taken, a picture is taken of them. And uh, sometimes they'll post bail or they get released or sometimes they'll stay in jail until they see a judge. So the court is going to be the next step. But you are still have... Um, in some cases, you're still able to view the actual arrest record. So uh, I, um, I can try to do this. Uh, for example, too many too many records here, so I might I might just add something here. And uh, as you can see, uh, it pulled up a uh, a record here. So it gives you a booking date here. So it happened a little while ago, a couple of years ago. Uh, pretty serious charge here. Uh, you got a bond amount uh, and then the court date. So you have some basic information um, as to what, what the charge is, uh, when it happened, and uh, a court date. So not, not too much information, but at least there's something there and you have a case number as well. So uh, that was a pretty serious uh, profile there. Um, and so you have... Uh, uh, you have multiple, uh, every single county pretty much has its own database. Not every single one will provide an online database, but typically they'll have something that you can use online. Uh, they're not necessarily always going to keep the very oldest records, so also keep that in mind. Sometimes they just keep the most current ones. So it just depends on how the uh, local pretty much sheriff's department decides to manage the database. Uh, so after, but but there is an option for you to research this arrest information and all of those databases I was just looking at are fr completely free of charge. So the next thing would be court records. And as you can see, you have multiple, um, you have multiple data, uh, multiple courts within, uh, within the uh, Texas court system. Uh, anything from the Supreme Court to the Municipal Court. And so if you're looking for criminal information, you typically are looking for felonies and then uh, maybe like uh, class, uh, class C, uh, class B type of, uh, uh, type of uh, criminal offenses. So they had like lower level crimes. And so you have uh, uh, anything from district court, county, county courts, uh, and then uh, probably municipal courts, they're gonna be, well, in justice of peace courts, they're gonna be dealing with, uh, with those types of records. Now, you do have uh, a centralized system that you can use. And uh, I'm going to click on the background check page here and just show you uh, they're not they don't necessarily cover every single county. Um, so just keep that in mind. It's not necessarily going to be 100 percent coverage. Uh, so, you know, take a look at this map, make sure uh, it actually has the counties that you are looking for. But it, this is the uh, closest thing to a centralized system in Texas. And uh, now this, uh, uh, this uh, in particular here is a subscription-based uh, model here, but they do have, as you can see, they have a subscription plan. You got the gold, silver, bronze, but then there's also a free option, which is just a, a, a more limited search. Now you do have uh, ways around this. If you scroll down to the county level, each county provides uh, like a, a court of clerks office uh, manages their own database. So let's say you want to look somebody up in Harris County or Dallas County. Uh, you're able to pull up their, um, uh, for instance, in this case, the uh, Harris County District Clerk, and they and she or and uh, this uh, department actually has quite a few different uh, records you can research, civil, family, criminal. Uh, but uh, I would show you how it works, but I, I would need to register for an account. But as you can see, it, it's uh, the account is free of charge. So in Dallas County actually makes it pretty simple. Um, you just need, looks like just a name here. 
And, uh, oops, wrong button. Uh, I just need a name, and I was almost right there. And, okay. So, here we go. Excuse me. And uh, it just loads, no account needed. Um, you just, uh, you, you got to make sure you filter it out a little bit more. I just gave him Smith, so I, if I had a little bit more information, it would have uh, uh, given me different results here. You, so you, each uh, each uh, county has its own database, and uh, and so we have the most populous ones here. So, in combination with uh, with the uh, with the large one uh, that uh, is a more centralized system, and then some of these more popular counties by going directly to them, I think you'll have a pretty pretty good coverage of uh, the court records within the state of Texas. And just by using the free options, you should be able to discover uh, information that you're looking for. Um, so uh, what happens after court? Well, there's going to be either a guilty or no guilty verdict. And in the case of a guilty verdict, sometimes they will uh, sometimes they will uh, pay a fine. Sometimes they will have to go do time. And uh, so if somebody is uh, going to be uh, spending more than a year in, uh, in, in prison, they're going to be uh, in the prison system. If it's less than a year, uh, it's going to be probably a local sheriff's department jail. So uh, you're actually able to... Uh, look at that database, the prison database. It's uh, uh, managed by the Texas Department of Criminal Justice. And uh, again, this is also a free database. I'll just show you how this works. So you have quite extensive list. They Their records go uh, pretty far back. I'll just uh, select something random here. And uh, as you can see, you got a name. Uh, you have some uh, uh, identifying information. Uh, you have uh, the uh, sentence, uh, the amount of time, the amount of maximum, I guess, time th they'll spend. Uh, some other uh, information here, and then of course uh, the offense history. So, quite, the, quite a, quite a few details here, and uh, all of this you're able to to view uh, free, free of cost, and uh, you can actually see if they are, uh, if they, these are repeat uh, inmates within the uh, Department of Correction system. Uh, you can actually see uh, uh, like a history here, like 2004, 2014, 2020, and uh, all the different offenses. So you could see like this person was was uh, was back in in uh, in the system for, like four times here. So you're able to research this information for free. So. Um, you have your arrest information, you have your court records that you can view, and then you have your uh, prison uh, records that you're also able to look. And all of those things can be researched for free. Uh, maybe one final thing I can add is you can also research the uh, Texas um, sex offender registry list. And there's also a link for that here. And that is that can also be done uh, free of charge. So uh, keep... Uh, I guess uh, uh, come on down to uh, to texaspublicrecords.org and get started on your free criminal uh, background check in Texas. Uh, and one more thing uh, to consider is the name search on top here. And what this does is it uh, pulls multiple databases, so public databases, court records, real estate information, criminal records, arrest records, financial records, things like uh, bankruptcies. They have some private record information as well. So. Uh, maybe a cell phone information, previous addresses, things like that. And it doesn't just look at records in the state of Texas. It actually goes outside the state as well. So it kind of gives you like a nationwide look into someone's history. And what's great about it is it combines all these databases and it's a single single system pretty much with all these databases. So the search is pretty much instantaneous. So you'll quickly figure out if it's something you need. Uh, or something that you'll want to use. Uh, but what's also great about it is, let's say somebody had a criminal past in South Carolina or in Virginia, for example, and now they live in Texas. If you're just looking at county or state records in Texas, you're not necessarily going to catch what happened in South Carolina or Virginia or whatever other state. Uh, nowadays, uh, people do move around, so it's uh, something to consider. And uh, it's a great tool to add to your background checking arsenal. So. Uh, once again, uh, come on down, uh, texaspublicrecords.org. Thank you.